Hey, it's Clan. This will be a video chart on ticker symbol PTX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out with levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Done this analysis several times in the past, that's where the green and red line annotations are coming from. And before anything else, it's gonna do a little house cleaning and just get rid of this line up here. Sure, it still pertains, just not really relevant right now. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines all over the place. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. The first update though that does need to be made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken, and close below, they do tend to act as resistance. So that area right there at the 30 cent mark was an area of support going into today. But as stated, now that the price is down below it, if the price does get any sort of bounces in the upward destruction, 30 cents is gonna be that near term uh, level that will now need to be broken. Also keep an eye on the purple line right there with the 50 period moving average. That line will eventually move down below the, the 30 cent mark. And at that point, it'll take higher priority. So as of right now, yes, the purple line is still up above the red line. Therefore, you know, 30 cents has higher priority. But as soon as that purple line does cross down below 30 cents, then that level will have priority at that point. In terms of levels of support, nothing new here to report, more so kind of just confirmation of from other videos I've done, uh, but that is right down here at 26 cents, which is that green line there. I suppose the price didn't technically hit it, but I think we'd all agree got close enough right around that area. So that'll be the, the next and key level of support going into Friday. So we'll see if the bulls can generate some sort of bounce or not. Last time it was down around 26, it did get a nice little bounce. So we'll see if history can repeat itself. And again, if history does repeat itself and it starts to bounce, keep an eye on that 30 cent mark for the key break that'll need to, to get uh, you know broken up above for there to be any sort of chance at a worthwhile bounce. So it'll be interesting to see how this one closes out the week on Friday. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.